Hello, my pepperoni king. It's that guy, Jason. Tomorrow is a special day. A very, very special day. Tomorrow is the third anniversary of my channel. And to celebrate prematurely, I decided to make this video. The complete history of that guy, Jason. The complete history of just me, Jason. So, I do hope you enjoy this. This did take some time to work on. And, uh, just, just enjoy. That's all I gotta say. Okay, here are a few warnings just to be safe. Alright, thank you. Bye. On November 14th, 2020, the That Guy Jason channel was created. The first video was published. The first video is a cover of Baka Mitai. Now, this was a time I was using my phone and the art program known as PixArt and PixelArt. You know, before they got greedy. Fucking bastards. <laughs> Anyways. So. Now if my channel would stop constantly refreshing. So. I decided to make a bit of a prototype series. With three videos. Jason goes to Walmart, Shima's makeover, and a small announcement. See, the main reason a small announcement is so important, though, you know, crunchy, pure you voice aside, is because Thanksgiving 2020, that is when I joined the Discord server of um, Tekken voice actor and a good friend of mine, Joseph Hines. And in that server, I had so much memories. Not to mention all of the friends I made. Uh, an example, the voice actor of Eric in the upcoming series I'm making, Jason's Crossing, um, I met him in that Discord server. <laughs> um, there's also my friend Elian, which I do wish I could talk to more, but, you know, I don't really talk to as much. Then, things start to evolve when I was suggested that I would play the game VR Chat. And that's when everything changed. I mean, not in, like, friends-wise, but, you know, everything changed for me. VR Chat. A game normally meant for VR players, but, you know, is on PC. Is where I met some of my other friends. Uh, mainly my other Tekken friend, Skylar Talbane. Talbane. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, sorry. <laughs> and where I met my other friend, X Minty. This would span me on a bit of a rabbit hole. Not a rabbit hole, but you know. A hole. Where. Well. Actually, it was not more of a hole. It was more of a journey. There we go. It was a journey, basically. Um, I met so many friends in the FNAF community. 
And I spent my time in the FNAF community fucking around, you know, before Security Breach came out. <laughs> Probably around the cusp of Security Breach coming out. And then... The live stream happened. The live stream where I went to Station Square. And I decided... To be a Sonic VA. I'll be honest. That was probably one of the worst fucking decisions of my life. <laughs> I mean... I'm not, I'm not like, the most proud of it. But I'm not the, the least proud of it either. Um, I've had some good moments. I've met a lot of people. Including... One of my friends. And a person who I now consider my sister. Um, Robo Remix, who at the time used to be called Fabulous Remix, and hell, to this day I still call her Fabulous, because, you know, the first abbreviation of her nickname. And, you know, uh, to take in the impact that I had from this community is a lot. A lot of good things. And, you know, we were just chilling, you know, doing our role plays. Messing around as Sonic characters until I realized something. There wasn't a lot of avatars, or let alone good avatars, decent, I'll put it like that, of Sonic characters that I like. I decided to fix that. That's where it began. My journey on how to learn how to make VR chat avatars. Now, I'll be honest, I actually started way before I started working on Sonic avatars. Yet the time I made my first public Sonic avatar, that's when it grew to me. That's when I realized, you know, maybe I should make this a little hobby of mine. To make avatars for all the characters in the Sonic franchise that don't have decent avatars yet. And it was fun. Honestly, doing those avatars was some of the best years of my VR chat career. Some of the best years of my VR chat experience. I've made a crap ton of friends. I've made a crap ton of stuff. I've made basically a name for myself in the VR chat Sonic. But when I made a name for myself in the Sonic VR chat community for making these avatars, in the end, I'll be honest. I kind of hated it. Not because the work, because believe me, I actually don't mind the work. It's just that everything felt more soulless and soulless. Like my soul was just getting sucked out. Can people kept demanding more avatars of this character and that character and this character that doesn't even have a conceivable three model. And now, keep in mind, I was dealing with a lot of depression at this time, and um, we're going to get into a bit of a deeper topic here. I will be honest about this. I was dealing with some heavy depression at this time. And anxiety. The anxiety comes from me screwing up all the chances I can get and having a friend. And Sometimes, I don't even know what I did wrong. 
and it's not to say that everybody's perfect. I have my fair share of problems, but this fear irked me. Irked me in a very deep way. That it almost cost me my life. I I had an attempt at my life during this era. And now, like I said, if you are dealing with stuff like this, please call the suicide hotline. There is hope, and you will be missed if you were to do that stuff. Now, I'll be honest. I feel a bit uncomfortable talking about this. But, I do want to talk about it, because it's kind of a bit of a lesson for me. So, I had a friend group. I'm not going to mention the friend group, because I don't want to spark any drama or stuff that started, right? And, I'll be honest, I, I drove them off. With me and my big fucking mouth. And, I'll be honest, I didn't get the signs that was making them uncomfortable. I didn't get the signs at all, because my brain doesn't work like that. When you're autistic, like me, sometimes you don't take social cues, and then the moment they all left and kind of just cut me off, I felt alone. I felt like... I felt like if I wasn't around anymore, if I just grabbed that knife and stabbed myself right in my vital organs, I wouldn't have to hurt anybody anymore. Now, I don't think of this anymore, but also, this isn't really the first time I've actually attempted that stuff. It's sad, but it's true. Second time, I'm not going to mention it because that second time was private. And unfortunately, it got publicized and twisted on its own head to villainize me. But I overcame these feelings, because sometimes you just learn that you're going to lose friends. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try to keep them, friendship is going to end eventually. You just have to make the most of it. Now, I don't know who publicized my second suicide attempt. Hell, uh, I could care less now. But... You know, it does hurt me a bit to know that I was basically antagonized for my depression. And it's kind of what caused me to break away from... Sonic community. Slowly and slowly, bit by bit, piece by piece, because <sighs> I don't know who is that 
morally just bankrupt. It's just spread false, hell, even publicize that attempt. In, in reality, it was supposed to be private. And I'm not going to mention how, because I don't want to. I'm not comfortable with that yet. I've only mentioned it to a few of my closest friends. And this has kind of been on my back for a bit. It's kind of bitten into my psyche. But, you know. Somber note aside. I do have fond memories of the song community. It gave me so many happy memories. But... I kinda had to retire. I didn't want me to be further villainized. Either for me being openly critical and vocal. Or for me just, you know, stating that I don't like this or that moderation. And when I left that community, I actually felt free. I felt free for once. And I'm sorry to all the other people of the Sonic Beer Chat community. I know everybody isn't like this. But. <sighs> I left for a good reason. And I do hope you guys understand. But. Anyhow. Somber note aside, let's continue to talk about my experiences on VRChat, because I assure you, not all of it was bad. It's just that, you know, this portion is... it kind of haunts me, and... I can't really go back to those worlds anymore without thinking of what happened. Shuddering and anxiety. But, you know. It's fine. I've moved on. I've become the better person. So, somber topic aside, I will tell you, it does get better. You will get better. And it all started when I met a certain yellow bear thing. Honey Hot Kiss. Honey Hot Kiss is a bear VTuber that I met on VRChat. 
And we did some funnies. Ha ha he he's. As Peach and Mario. Now, um, what made it even better is that, you know, since Honey is a VTuber, she, of course, has a Twitch and a following. And then, I made the funniest fucking decision ever. Take the main gimmick of Honey's channel, which is simping for Sonic the Werehog from Sonic Unleashed, and flip it on its fucking head. <laughs> and, essentially, what I did was I made Wario regressively flirt with the Werehog. And the moment I did that to my, f to like, Honey's friends that tried coming to her, her as the Werehog to flirt with her, it, it was fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> I remember it. And hell, there's actual art that Honey drew of fucking Wario X Werehog. It all started with me making a joke about Wario having an OnlyFans, <laughs> and it was the most hilarious, but also cursed part of my, um, entire VR chat existence, basically. And my god, it was fucking hilarious. But then I decided, hell, we should expand, make more. And that's exactly what we did. Team Jackrabbit. Team Jackrabbit was a kind of trio team formed by me, Honey, and Robo Remix. Hell, we still do things to this day. Granted, not as much as we used to because, you know, we all have lives. We're busy. When we formed it, though, my god, we had so much fun. It kind of made me a lot more happy. It revitalized my whole, you know, perceptive outlook on friendship. And now, we do nothing but joke about chips for dinner, Wario X Werehog, and then hell, a fourth person came in too, which was David. Uh, funny enough, I met David shortly after, you know, my depression. <laughs> believe it or not, and we had a bit of a fun little rivalry. Um, now, at first, it was like genuine rivalry, but then we slowly became like bros, good friends. And he later was a part of the Team Jackrabbit crew. He's kind of our unofficial fourth member. <laughs> Um, and hell, we kind of evolved beyond being a Sonic community, or a Sonic group. We were more than that. We were our own group, with our own level of fun, our own level of adventure, our own level of whimsy. It was just so amazing. So, with that all the way... Let me do the outro, because I think it needs to be said. It is my anniversary. It is a time to celebrate. And I want to thank everybody. Everybody that has stood by me. I want to thank my audience... I want to thank the members of the Psychosonic Sanctuary, 
Super Mario RP Land, even though that server's like very dead in the water. UAVRC, the amazing VR Circus, a recent community that I made with, you know, a friend of mine. I want to thank my friends that I have made within the Tekken community. I want to thank Joseph. I want to thank Elaine. I want to thank Charles. I want to thank Skylar. And I want to thank Reese and Elliot. And most importantly, I want to thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching my channel in general. And, I mean, if this is your first time watching, it's kind of weird you're watching, like, an Anna Pert <laughs> anniversary piece, but... Um, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you subscribe. I do hope you check out my other crazy adventures. Because, I'll be honest, I know it sounds cheesy and stuff, but... You guys are the motivation that I have to keep going on to this channel. The motivation that I have to keep moving on with my day. The moment I see some joke about chips for dinner, or the moment I see some jokes relating to pizza or Tekken, a smile kind of... Um grows on my face. A little, a little smirk. So, with that out of the way, thank you, my pepperoni gang. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.